Dungeons and Dragons ride! Wow, neat! Give me a break. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, Ranger. Barbarian, magician, thief, cavalier, and acrobat. Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. which reflects what you are and what you desire most. I don't think I want to hear this. However, a giant sacrifice may be required to save a tiny friend. But remember, the smallest deed may yield the largest reward. The only reward I want is a way home. Whoa! <sighs> Next time, watch where I'm going, Squirt. Right, Eric. Maybe we should have watched where Dungeon Master was going. Huh? He's gone? Ah, oh, terrific! He starts to tell us how to get home, and then poof! No Dungeon Master! And as usual, I didn't understand a thing he said! Did you, Presto? Huh? What's going on? Presto, is this another one of your screwy spells? Huh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> my cape? Where's my shield? Where's my bug spray? This baby's mine. Come on, big fella. This way. Hey! Hang on, Diana. Oh, he's got me. How does Dungeon Master always know when to leave? Huh? Somebody do something! Yeah! Not really, but at least we'll be safer than back there. Hank, whose voice was that anyway? <laughs> it was mine. Far out! A baby dragon! Look! Neat! Wow! Oh! <laughs> Who are you? My name is Amber. And you're Presto, right? Yeah. Huh? Hey, she knows my name. I heard the silly one say it. The one in the red cloak. Wait a minute. The silly one? Me? What's a little baby dragon doing calling me silly? I'm not a baby dragon. I'm a full-grown fairy dragon. And you're the one who woke the giant ants up. Not me. That's silly. Okay, okay. So how about telling us how to get out of here? 
before my feet rust? I'll tell you if he asks me to. Huh? Him? Presto? Uh, me? Okay, how do we get out of here? I mean, without going back there. That way, Presto. Uh, thanks, Amber. You're welcome. <laughs> My, this hat looks comfortable. Is it? Uh, yeah. Sure, I guess. Good. <laughs> Come on, stop. That tickles. <laughs> I can tell. Huh. Well, I'm glad somebody's found a home. Do you think we're lost enough yet? Huh? Well, Dungeon Master said... When all seems lost, Eric. And we're not lost. Look, there's the end of the tunnel. Come on! Yeah! Ah! Help! Yeah, help! Another dragon! Ah! Humans! Uh, out of my way! Amber, what are you doing with these humans? They're my friends, Flaw. What's wrong? We need help. Queen Tasmira, she's been captured. King Varen's men took her. Oh, no. I must go. I've got to help her. Hey, Amber, wait. We'll help you. Come on, guys. Eric, follow them. Don't tell me. Looks like we've got some climbing to do. I said don't tell me. Ah, humans! Help! Amber! Come on, keep away from me! I didn't do anything to you! Help! No! These are my friends! Hey. Oh. Huh? They can help us! Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go tell the others. Ah, help! Presto! Hank, help! Hang on, guys! Thanks! You too, Amber. Better get inside the cave! My friends, they're going to help us, right? What do you say, everybody? Amber helped us. Whoa! Of course. We'd be glad to. Then can we go home? Eric. If we ever want to see Queen Tasmira again, we have to give all our treasure to King Varen. Hold on to your treasure, Amber. We'll get her back. Right, Hank? Right. Now where do we find this King Varen character? Yeah. I'll show you. That's King Varen's castle. Queen Tasmira must be inside somewhere. Don't worry, Amber. We'll rescue her. Now, everybody know the plan? Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay, Sheila. Hit it. Stop that wagon! Hey, whoa! Come on. The coast is clear. Right. Hurry up. I don't want to be stuck out here all day. Don't worry. We'll hurry. Yeah. Sheila, come on. Sorry. Good luck. We'll probably need it. Yeah. I believe the dungeon's down there. Gosh. It seemed like those stairs were going to go on forever. How are we ever going to find her in here? This place is huge. I'll check that corridor. Presto, you and Amber go that way. Diana, take that one. Sheila and Bobby, go down there. Whistle if you find her. Your Highness, are you here? Queen Tasmira? Hey, sis, I'm going back to the stairs to make sure nobody sneaks up on us. Okay, but be careful. Queen Tasmira? I'm here. We found you! We've come with Amber to rescue you! How dare they do this to our queen! Don't worry, we'll get you out in no time! 
No problem! Huh? Our weapons, they're not working. Of course not. <gasps> King Farron! My wizard constructed this room. Magic will not work in it, which makes it a perfect place to welcome new prisoners like you. Prisoners? Hey, put me down! I want to make a phone call! Amber? Where are you? Isn't she in your hat? No! Amber! Where are you? Amber? Quiet! Huh? Where are you? I'm out here. How? I snuck out when they pushed Eric and Muni in. I'm going to get help. Be careful. Are you sure you'll be okay? There's no choice. I'll be back as soon as I can. I hope she'll be okay. Well, I feel totally lost now, Dungeon Master. So, uh, like, where's home? You two are searching for a home? Huh? Aren't those caves your home? <laughs> the caves? Oh, no. There you are. Thank you. Our natural home was in the Forest of Mists, but years ago a nearby mountain exploded, setting fire to our trees and destroying our home. We were told we could make our new home in the forest at the edge of the world. We've been journeying there for many generations. The caves are just a temporary home. Well, I suppose you could call this entire realm our temporary home. Yeah, but not temporary enough. Eric? I hope you manage to find your home someday. Do you really think Amber will bring back help? If help is available, she'll find it. <sighs> so far, so good. Look! One of the fairy dragons is escaping! My magic hat could work in this stupid room. Yeah, that would be a big help. But it will work outside the room. Gotcha. What have you got? Quiet. Hat of mine, please give ear. Make this door disappear. Yeah, ants. Wow, look at them go. No, Presto, they're termites. Ah. We're out of here! Magical termites. I don't believe this. Let's go! <sighs> oh no! They're still following me! We're losing her! Come on! Faster! Shh! Wait here. Come on, we're almost out. How could you lose a creature that shade of orange? Well, you lost her too. Uh, let's head back. Ah, oh, we'll never make it past those guys. Leave those two to me. By sun and moon, let it seem night. Cause those guards to sleep, not fight. <sighs> Wow, thanks. I've got an idea. Oh, prisoners. Carry on. Thanks. Come on. We made it. Yippee! Look there. She flew into that cave. I'll stay here. You go get the king. Right. 
We've got to help them, but our magic won't work. It won't work in the cell, but it will work outside. Crystal! Queen Tasmira, you escaped! These are truly our friends. Without their help, I could not be here. We owe them our gratitude and thanks. We were glad to help. Your modesty is great, but come, there is something I want to show you. Where are we going? To the deepest, safest place in these caves. <laughs> our treasure room. This is the legendary treasure of the fairy dragons. The treasure King Varan wants so desperately. Wow! Anything in this room is yours with our deepest gratitude. We really appreciate your offer, but we don't want your treasure. Right, guys? Uh, oh, oh yeah. All we want is a way home. Right, Presto? Presto? Where is Presto? Last I saw, he was talking to Amber. I don't think this is going to work, Amber. Come on, you get it right. Abracadabra and Dabra Kasai, by the power of dragons, make this rock fly? Wow! <laughs> I told you you could do it. Good going, Presto. Yeah. Oh, that's a real good spell, Presto. A floating rock trick. Huh. Eric! For you, your highness. Uh, thank you, magician. Where will you children go from here? The army's attacking! They found us! Run! Huh? What? Come on! They're widening the entrance. Is there another way out? No, we'll have to fight. reflecting what we desire most. Open up! Mirror, show us the dragon's home, the forest at the edge of the world. Look, the mirror's changing. There it is. Queen Tasmira, go through the mirror, quickly. <sighs> but what about our treasure? You can take it with you. We'll push it through the mirror to you. Now go! How will you escape? We'll use the mirror after you. We'll have time if you hurry. Thank you. Goodbye, my friends. Good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye. After them! Oh, no! Every duck! The smallest deed. Well, here goes. Take them to the king. Where is my treasure? We don't know, sire, but these children do. Well? It's where you'll never get it. Is that a fact? Who's going to stop me? Arrest these children! Uh, if rocks can rise, just like the moon, then make this king and his soldiers become balloons! Release this spell! Come on, guys! Don't worry about them! They'll come to 
drifting back down in a few hours just like real balloons. Hey, like I said before, Presto, that's a real useful spell you've got there. Thanks. Come on, let's get out of here. That was a pretty tough decision you made with the mirror back there, Eric. Yeah, I know. But we lost another chance to go home. There'll be other chances, Bobby. Sure. Sorry, short stuff. We all want to go home, but... Like Dungeon Master said, a giant sacrifice was required to save our tiny friend. And if we never saved tiny friends, where would you be? Give me a break, Eric. Relax. Look at it this way. At least we're not any further from home, right? Correct, Cavalier. You are closer than you think. For home is a reflection of the heart, a reflection you are now beginning to understand. <laughs>